So here it is Friday in the afternoon and Ms. Motopilot tells me this morning, oh yeah, hey, I forgot, uh, I have a wine party of some sort with his girlfriend, with her girlfriends down in Long Beach this evening. And I'm like, sweet babe, have a good time. And I'm like, well shit, now what am I gonna do? Got an open plate. Well, okay, so yeah, here it is Friday, and I get off work between 3 and 4 o'clock on Fridays. And today I split at 3.30, I'm like, you know what? I've been wanting to show you guys the Oakley headquarters for quite some time, and it's about 25 minutes from my work, so that's it, man. We're going to go check it out. Pretty deep history with Oakley. I've had a lot of family that worked there. Two brothers, two nephews, uh, two of my brothers. They were there for a long time. One of them just left after like over 20 years. He was like the main guy that got all the stores built all over the world. So I've been tight with Oakley all through my motocross career. I used to go over to my brother's house and he'd have Oakley goggles and stickers and gloves and everything all in his garage. And I'd go through there and just pick through whatever I want and yeah it was pretty sick to be a little kid and have like that full Oakley hookup and um, my other brother that worked there for a long time when Jim Gennard sold Oakley and started that camera company called Red he took that brother with him over to Red and he's been with Jim Gennard basically his entire career hey stay in your own lane there bro um, yeah, and then Jim Gennard, the guy who uh, basically started Oakley, he's all bummed right now because Luxottica, a big, huge international corporation that bought Oakley, is basically dismantling it. Everybody that's good that was there has left. The whole culture there has changed. It kind of sucks, man. Oakley was a badass company. But first, I'll take you by my old work. This right here used to be Scorpion Helmets, and I was a uh, graphic designer for them for about three years till it also got turned upside down and fucked up. But uh, that was a good run. I had a good time there while it lasted. All good things must come to an end. Also, right over here is Associated RC Cars. Those guys are killing it in the RC world. Oh man, I got like a sore on my tongue, I just noticed. It fucking hurts. You're not supposed to turn left here. I used to always turn left here when you're not supposed to. When I'd go to lunch, I'm like, never got a ticket. So the city we are in, this is basically um, Lake Forest, California. Nice job, Diesel. It's killing everybody. All right, well, hopefully my mic sounds better today because I filmed the freebie Friday yesterday and edited it last night. And I was so disappointed in the uh, audio. I was really embarrassed to even put that video up. But I had to do it because I it was freebie Friday. You know, I couldn't miss it. Oh, sorry, bro. Missed this hand wave. So today at work, I put a windscreen on the under the chin. If you don't know what that is, it's a little skirt right down here like blocks the wind. Um, I had one on before, but I took it off because it made it hard to breathe. But I'm like, screw it, I need it. Hopefully it's helping. Shit, is this it? Yeah, is it? I haven't been here in so long, I almost forgot how I get here. So literally, Oakley is only about two miles from where Scorpion Helmets was. Oh, you know what? Okay, I know where I'm at. By the way, I know I keep bringing this up, but I just passed 
3,000 subscribers, that means I got over 2,000, I got 2,015 at this point in seven days. <laughs> Something's going on. Dude, the positive comments coming my way is like overwhelming and the ambassador program is crazy. It's like 50 people per day jumping on board, getting their, uh, these guys in front of me are checking me out, getting their free spam cards and their sticker. So things are kicking ass, man. So what I'm gonna have to do when I get into Oakley is, uh, I gotta be pretty inconspicuous with my camera. So I'm gonna turn off the GoPro on top of my helmet and run the contour on the side of my helmet and just walk around with my helmet underneath my arm with the camera on and just I'll, uh, put I'll put up subtitles so you guys can understand what you're looking at. Okay, so this is Oakley right here. Those are fake rocks because my brother had this place built. He was the one in charge of getting it built. He told me all about it. We were building a motocross track all over here might be able to see parts of it yeah here it is check it out it's a motocross track we were having built and then Oakley first said yes and then they said no because of insurance reasons but I came here one day and James Stewart was doing some hot laps and there was a bunch of press here and stuff so that was cool that guy's so fucking fast but too bad he can't get it together this year some more fake rocks I asked my brother what was the concept of all the landscaping around here and he goes ah oh, we wanted to look kind of like like a, something in interplanetary, like, I don't know, from another planet or something. I don't know. It doesn't really look interplanetary to me. So check out that tank. It's pretty crazy, right? I think it's Russian or something like that. Check that out. It's pretty cool. That is so cool. Look at that. What, what is that? That's crazy. Still a lot of people here. It's just wild. I hope it's still open. Um, you can see that the building goes for quite a ways. The amount of people that work here and the amount of glasses they put out per day is baffling. I don't have the statistics with me, but I did read it at one time and it was like, yeah, no wonder they're making billions. Damn, it might be closed. Check out that missile. All right, guys. Well, hey, I'm going to wrap this up here and uh, go inside. Check this place out. <laughs> Thank you.